Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to organize and set up multiple displays in Windows. I'm going to be showing you a couple of cool settings we can do like mirroring displays or even extending our displays so we can use two monitors simultaneously to have different windows and different programs on each monitor. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to your desktop and we're going to be right clicking and we're going to be coming down to display settings and then this panel box will open up. So the first thing we'll be doing when we come to this page is deciding if we want to have just our display on our first monitor, just the display on the second monitor, or if we want to use both monitors so we can extend and drag windows back and forth between them and use both monitors simultaneously, or if we want to have our displays mirrored. How we do this is by coming down to multiple displays in the bottom. And as you can see, we've got a number of different options down here. We can duplicate these displays, which is going to mirror them on both. So the exact same things will show up on both displays. We can extend these displays, which is going to let us set up multiple monitors so we can use them simultaneously. Show only on the first monitor or show only on the second monitor. So in my case, I'm going to be using extending these displays. The next thing I'm going to be deciding is which display we want to have is our primary display. Now, what does this mean? This means that we're going to have all of our main Windows options on it. So if we come down to the right of my display, we can see that this is my main display as I've got all these extra features on my display. But on a normal display that's not your main display, it will only show the time feature down here in Windows. So a main display will have all these extra features. So whatever main display you want to use the most, you should set it as your main display. So in my case, if we click on my second display up here, we can see that this is my main display and you can use whichever one you want for this. We can also set up some scaling in Windows. So let's just say you've got a really big display or you're using a small display with a high resolution. So say a smaller screen of 4K, things can look really small and cramped. So what you can do is you can increase all the screen elements by 125, 150, and a bunch of different options here. But since my display is quite big, even though it is a 2560 by 1440 p I don't need to set any screen scaling because everything looks fine at this size. But if you've got a small display with a high resolution, 100% scaling can look really small and all the elements can be too small to actually see. The last thing we're gonna be looking at is actually arranging our displays. So right now you can see my first monitor is to the left and my second monitor is to the right. And this actual link is exactly where I can move my mouse between my monitors. So if you can see, if I drag my mouse right over here, I can drag it off to the side. Whereas if I bring it slightly to the top, I can't move it any further than this point. And that's because right here in the middle is the connecting point between our monitors. Now by dragging our first monitor around, we can move it around the point to above, below, to the right. We can do anything with our monitor from this point. Now in this case, I actually have my monitor set to the left and to the center. So that's where I'm gonna be putting it. And that's gonna be our connecting point, which is somewhere around here that I can drag straight across and that's basically how you set up and manage multiple monitors in windows it's really really easy to do it's super intuitive and all the features and tools on windows are really easily once you're happy with all the settings you've done simply click apply and then everything will be refreshed and set up and ready to go and it's as easy as that to manage multiple displays in windows if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel if you want to recommend some tutorials i should make let me know in the comments down below if you found this video helpful and you want to support the channel i'm also going to leave a link down below to my paypal of course there's no pressure if you can't anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace